we are all set up you keep like falling <laughs> hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel welcome to my monthly amazon haul you guys know i love to film these every single month and show you guys my favorite must-haves from amazon at the moment so i wanted to do this one like summer edition i've done my travel one which i done last month and showed you guys my amazon travel must-haves and i'm actually pre-filming this video so it goes live when we're away which is crazy to me so when you're watching this video we will be on holiday um and i've mentioned this before on my previous videos i'm actually vlogging the trip i think i'm gonna do three vlogs two or th I think three I'm thinking like the first day like going to the port kind of like an airport vlog but we're going on a cruise so it's just more of a port vlog and like our first day showing you a room tour and stuff and then I think I'm gonna split the other videos into two if that makes sense so like show you guys around like Spain and stuff Portugal um we go to Lanzarote and it's just really exciting so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on those videos but on my Instagram page, I think I'm just going to be showing you guys sneak peeks from our time away because I'm going to film the trip and then when we come home, I'm then going to edit and upload it. So I hope that makes sense. So in my Amazon travel video, um, I literally use everything that I showed you guys in that video when it came to packing because I have, of course, already packed. There are some things in that video that I might show you in this one in case you haven't seen it, but it's going to be a little bit more different. It's going to be a little bit more like summer things and things that... I've just been loving at the moment, at this moment in time. So if you want to see my June Amazon monthly favourites, then please keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to show you guys, this is actually two things and it's these summer hats. I'm going to take both of them away with me and then when I'm travelling, I can just sort of have them like that on top of each other because it's not going to take up loads of like my arm space but floppy hats i feel like these are an essential to have so the first one we've got is this gorgeous black one i'm not going to pop it on just because it's taken me the longest time ever to do my hair and i don't even like how it's come out but i just can't be bothered to redo it again so i'll pop a link for it down below and you can see what it looks like on but you kind of get the gist it's a gorgeous floppy hat the lining of this one is wired so you can actually kind of mold it to how you want if you want one bit up or do you see what i mean um which is really good i feel like that is just amazing and then on the inside it's got this does anyone use these <laughs> i feel like the only time i use them is to hold and like carry it around but i don't actually use these and then the second one is this one i love the bow detailing on it i think it's so beautiful it hasn't got the wire around it i think i've seen some hacks where if you dunk your hat into a pool and then leave it flat like to dry it then dries without the creases is that right correct me if i'm wrong um because i think that's probably what i'm gonna do but i just love this one as well i feel like they are perfect for holiday perfect for summer and i think they are so cute so this next item is a gorgeous place suit i'm gonna pop pictures and stuff of the model wearing it so you can see what it looks like on this is beautiful i love it so much i think it is such an elegant play suit it's super stretchy, really flattering. They had this in so many different colours as well. I went for more of like the beigey apricot kind of kind of colour. Um, it's got a thick band here at the waist to cinch you in at the waist. And it's just really pretty and floaty and off the shoulder. And it's just me. Also, it's just started raining. So the background is really dark right now. Do you know when it rains, when it's meant to be summer and you're just even more excited to go away on holiday? That is literally how I feel right now why do you know what this weather at the moment is the weirdest thing it rains like so much and then it just stops and then the sun comes out and it's boiling hot and then it's freezing and it rains it's the weirdest thing so if you can hear the rain in the background i'm really sorry um but yeah i love this place and i think it's so cute the next piece of clothing i have is this dress um i got this in a size large i do wish i got this in a medium though um this color oh you guys know how much i'm obsessed with like sage colors at the moment i feel like they're just so lovely for the summer but this dress couldn't be more me if it tried i had one like this last year from asos and it was just a white one wore it to death um, i'm actually taking it away with me as well as this one but then i saw they had it in this color and i thought oh my god this is perfect it's got like slight balloon sleeves a v neckline and it's just floaty and it is layered as well can you see that 
there's the layering there's the lining bit there um it's just so lovely it needs a steam definitely needs a steam but i love it i love how it's more of like a linen kind of feel and i feel like it is so cute for summer so these next two things i actually bought this one i'm gonna say last year maybe summer last year so i've had this for over a year and I wanted to give it a mention because I just bought a black one as well. And this is like a shawl. I always feel like I say that really weirdly. Shawl. Do you say shawl or shawl? Shawl. It's basically like a poncho that you kind of just chuck over. And it's just, it's kind of like a blanket basically. Um, but these I thought are amazing for summer. Especially in evenings if you're at home or on holiday. If you're wearing like a nice outfit as well. That you can't really put your sleeves in. Like for example, this is balloon sleeve. I wouldn't wear a fitted blazer with this because it would look like I've got massive muscles underneath a blazer and it just wouldn't feel right because there'd be too much material if that makes sense. So things like this are amazing because you can sort of like throw it over the top and keeps you warm but it's also really like nice and lightweight. So I have a gorgeous creamy kind of one and then I bought a black one and they are cashmere which is amazing so they are so soft this one's got tassels on i tried to find it without tassels and i couldn't so yeah i mean it's not the biggest issue ever but i thought it is so cute so soft and i feel like it's going to be something on holiday that i'm going to be so thankful that i've brought because in the evenings no matter what you're doing you can get a little bit chilly or you just want to be a bit cozy it's perfect just to sort of chuck over your shoulders and still feel nice and put together but warm at the same time so i love that so i think a new essential for me like this is mainly i got this for summer because i was thinking of my holiday and i thought oh my god this is perfect and if you've watched my vlogs you would have seen this you probably recognize this case but i also wanted to give it a mention this is the instax printer and it's not the polaroid camera this is one where you connect it to your phone you charge it on the side here you connect it to your phone um, and then you buy the polaroids here separately and you can choose what pictures you're having in the printer i personally like this more than the actual instax polaroid i have had the polaroid camera before but it just it kept breaking i think i've had two i've had a pink one and a white one and they both broke and it was so frustrating and I just like how you can pick what pictures you want because these aren't cheap. <laughs> the Polaroids aren't cheap so if you print a picture, like much as I love the idea of Polaroids in the moment, sometimes it just goes wrong. So you could still do the same thing with your phone I suppose. Um, this is the first one I printed out for my holiday series which is of course our ship that we're going on. I'm going to buy a book and I'll do it probably when I come home and do like a scrapbook of just my favorite pictures from being away and then I can put them all in the book and document it and I think it would be just such a lovely thing to have and a really nice memory so I'm taking this away with me it's really nice and compact I did buy the case because I didn't want anything to happen to it and I like how you can put your refills of the Polaroids in here as well which I think is amazing um, and the case is super hard so it's going to protect it and I think this is such a lovely thing I'm going to start it in summer I mean I might do it every season it might be like a seasonal thing um, but I just love it this is the ash white I would definitely say this is more blue this is like a light blue when I opened it I was like have I got the white one? I'm so confused, but yeah, this is definitely more like a light baby blue, but I think it is really cute, and I think it is so nice to, to just store your memories and print them out so you can actually physically have them. I feel like it's just so nice. To be honest, you could probably buy it and then keep it at home and then print them all out when you get back. But I just think it'll be nice to do it when we're there. I don't know why. I just want to take it. Um, so the next thing I have is a tripod so this is an essential for me for summer and for holidays this tripod is amazing i don't know if any of you film a lot of things whether it's on your phone or your camera but this tripod is amazing so this part at the top if you have a camera you will recognize it you screw your like vlogging camera or whatever on here and then you can film and take pictures and stuff um but this one is like a two-in-one tripod so it's a tripod for your camera but it's got a built-in bit for your phone so you clip this bit open this bit here is for your phone i've never seen anything like it 
so it's like that usually you have to buy the attachments for it which is fine but then it's also like oh my god i lose it all the time i've got one for my big tripod and i lose it all the time and i thought this was a genius idea and then you have to kind of like tuck it in for your phone there and um, it's also expandable which is really good and then this bit flattens out if you want your tripod to kind of sit anywhere it's perfect for that like i'll be filming doing my makeup and stuff like that when we're on the ship so for me, this is perfect and ideal, and I thought I could give it a mention because I thought it's amazing. So I have a couple of bags that I wanted to show you. The first one, I've showed you guys this so many times before um, on my YouTube and my Instagram, but if you haven't seen it or you want reminding, this is a gorgeous beach bag. It's so affordable. Um, it's really compact as well, so it's really easy to fit into your suitcase. You can fit loads in, and I love the style of it, like the actual crochet detailing on it I think is beautiful um, and this colour is amazing they had this in different colours as well but I went for the white so this next bag literally came today and if you didn't know you can actually buy I mean every most brands you can think of on Amazon um, and I really wanted to get a lovely designer handbag that wasn't going to break the bank you know um, I wanted to have one on holiday that I can kind of wear every day that goes with all my gorgeous summer outfits and is really versatile and I also wanted to wear this um, around my body to put like passport phone purse like the most important stuff in and then have this one as well for when I'm traveling for my hand luggage so like these two if that makes sense because this one's a lot smaller and they actually look really nice together as well and um, so this is a gorgeous Michael Kors bag I am in love with it I think it's so gorgeous I feel like Michael Kors has such a I don't know like not a lot of people have Michael Kors bags and I feel like when I was younger it was like the thing to have as I was getting older it was a bit like oh my god Michael Kors but I personally really like it and I think it's just a really nice a classic bag and all the Michael Kors bags that I have last so long so long so I think this is perfect and it's just a simple crossbody bag um, I like the gold hardware on it. I think the size of it's perfect. This is it in comparison to my phone. It's actually quite thick. So let me take all the stuffing out. So inside, like my phone, it does not take up a lot of room at all. Um, and I think it'll be really good to put, like I said, like my purse, passports and stuff like that in. I'm really tempted to buy the matching purse to this. Oh, but it's, I'm filming this video and it's Jubilee weekend starting tomorrow and I don't think Amazon will deliver so maybe I won't maybe I you never know I might buy a purse or something when we're away I think that might be really nice but I really like this bag let me know what your thoughts are on it I think it is a gorgeous bag I think it was around a hundred and maybe just under 200 pounds it was around that mark which I think is really good for a bag like this so I'm happy with this and I think it is so nice for summer with like white dresses and this can go over oh I love it so the next thing so confused by this oh, okay <laughs> I was thinking what this is like an award <laughs> what is this so oh my goodness I picked up new makeup brushes these are the most beautiful makeup brushes I think I've ever seen in the whole entire world and I'm going to show you like my I'm going to show you a couple just because there's a lot. Oh my god. They are the softest thing ever. So just a quick disclaimer as to why I'm getting new makeup brushes because I feel like I only got some a couple of months ago. I'm really bad at cleaning my brushes and like keeping on top of it, especially my foundation brushes. I always do my beauty blenders and my powder and stuff brush. I mean, they don't get that dirty. They do, but not as bad as my foundation and my contour brush. And at the moment, I've been getting spots, which is fine. I completely get that it happens. But my routine, like my skincare routine has been the same. I drink so much water. Like in my head I was thinking, what am I doing that's so different that is making me break out into like weird, painful and huge spots, like the weirdest thing. And then I realized I hadn't cleaned my brushes in the longest time and they were so disgusting and filthy. I cleaned some of them yesterday and my foundation and contour brushes were so bad. I used a big pot of the Sigma um, brush wash and it didn't even clean it properly. Like it was so bad. And then I was online. I was like, okay, I'm going to get. This might be a good thing, you know. <gasps> oh my God, it came today. What's that? My Zara parcel. Oh my God, this is my blazer. I 
I'm so happy. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. The doorbell went. I got an email today from Zara. I bought a blazer because none of my blazers fit me anymore. Um, they're just too big and they just don't fit. And I bought one from Zara and I got an email today saying that it was going to be delivered on Monday. We, we would have been on the cruise ship by then. So I was not going to wait around for that. And it's just been delivered. Oh, I'm so happy. Anyway, back to the brushes. I thought, okay, I'm going to get a new foundation brush. And of course I got sidetracked and was like, okay, this set, I, I've never seen such a beautiful brush set ever. Um, so I picked it up and I think this is absolutely gorgeous. This is what all of them look like. And I'm obsessed with them. Like the colours of these, there's so many brushes in here. It's mental, like so many to choose from. This is a really good contour one. And I thought it's perfect timing. I can take them away from on holiday and I wanted to treat myself. I think they were a bit pricey though. They were about £45, but look at the quality of them. And I love how this bit's beige. So when you're using like powders and stuff, it doesn't look like, oh great, it's completely dirty already. Do you know what I mean? I really liked it. So that was something I needed to mention. The next thing, which has also just come in the post, are these. So these are brushes. And if you wear individual lashes like me, you should always wash your lashes with um, lash shampoo. It's like a foam. You can buy it on Amazon. And these are really good brushes to use to like clean any dirt and stuff out of it. That's always really important when you have individual lashes in. So yeah, I love this. And I think they are so good and I needed more to take on with me. Oh, the next thing I got were these really cute beauty blenders. Again, this is your sign to get new brushes and beauty blenders because if you haven't washed your brushes in ages or you're washing them and they're not washing right and it's been too long, I think it's your sign to get new ones. You know, you need to be kind to your skin. These ones are really good because this is a normal beauty blender, the Real Techniques one. This one is a powder beauty blender. How cool is that? So you still wet it and stuff like normal, but do you know when people put like powder or they bake or whatever and they put it on with beauty blenders, this one is made for that. It's like slightly different fabric. Really excited to use this. Oh, okay. These have been in my Amazon basket for the longest time. And I've been umming and ahhing about it. And I was thinking, they're not gonna suit me. Oh, oh my God, they're better in person. So I wanted, I wanted some nice sun, oh my God, I literally love them. Oh, what do we think? Oh my God, I love them. These give me like Chloe vibes and back in the day, Chanel vibes. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I'm really happy with these. 15 pounds, I think these were, or like 12 or 13 pounds, around that mark. How good is that? I'm literally obsessed with these. Okay, I probably get asked <laughs> most days about my watch strap, where it's from and um, where I bought it and all that kind of stuff. And I got this watch strap on Amazon probably about, I'm gonna say a year ago. So it's lasted me a year, but it's got to the point now where it's so scratched and scuffed. Like it, the weird thing is it's never faded. Like I wear this in the shower, not every time. I do try and remember to take it off, but you know when you're in a rush and you're just whatever. But like it hasn't discolored or anything. It's just really scratched from wear and tear from me wearing it every single day to the gym and just everyday life. So I bought a new one and um, it's 20 pounds and I literally couldn't fault it because I was skeptical when I first bought it. Not gonna lie, cause I thought it's gonna discolor. Like it's gonna go a little bit silver like over time and it hasn't. But the reason that I got a new one is because I've scratched this so much to the point where it's not really that shiny anymore. So um, I bought a new watch strap, which is the same as this. And then, I also bought a new case for my watch because I don't know if you can see this one is scuffed and stuff around it as well like there and there I just thought you know what it's a good time to get a refresh before you're going away I'm going to be taking loads of pictures of like my wrists and stuff like that so I picked up um, a new one of these and these are really flexible and easy to pop on um, and then they go really nicely together as well because I've actually got the rose gold apple watch believe it or not Look, so many people like never believe me. Can you guys see that? It's like the rose gold one, but this is the case that makes it look like I've got a gold one. Oh my God, these are so cute. So I wanted some really cute summer grips for my hair. 
and I feel like I have completely nailed it with these ones. How gorgeous are they? Like the shell and the little starfish and the pearls. I'm obsessed and these are really good grippy ones and I also think these will be really cute for when I'm getting ready because if you've watched my vlogs you will know that I always like to do my hair first especially like when I curl it or straighten it and then I kind of clip it out my face and I feel like these would look so cute and like summery when I clip them oh my god I love them and they were so affordable um I'm gonna say I think they're around five pounds maybe less so I think I've won here. Oh my God, the aesthetic of those. So I picked up another jewelry set. This one did say it was gold, but annoyingly it's come rose gold. It's fine though, it's just one of those things. These are the copy, like the four leaf clover ones. So it comes in a set with a bracelet, earrings, for either side, and then a necklace here. Although they've accidentally set the black necklace. So, oh okay, so one side's black and then the other side is the pearl like the white can you see um which is really cute to be honest with you i do really love it it's just frustrating that it's rose gold and it says gold it's one of those things but this bracelet let me open it oh my god it's so cute and the quality of this is insane how gorgeous is that oh my god i love it I, can, I think I might put it on next to my watch, you know. I feel like it's cute. The one thing I would say, though, I feel like you can mix gold and silver together. Absolutely fine. But rose gold and gold, I don't know if they mix very well. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. So, I've also picked up some amazing swimsuits and sarongs from Amazon, which I've currently <laughs> packed in my suitcase. Um, and again, if you've watched my pack with me, I have packed them <laughs> like they're in like a little bag and stuff. I was literally trying to get them out just then. And then I was like, okay, this is going to make my life 10 times harder. But I'm taking them away with me. And what I'm going to do is pop a link to my Amazon storefront in the description box down below. And you guys know how organised I am and how much I love lists. And I basically put lists on my Amazon storefront of everything from summer, holiday, travel, home stuff, garden. Like I've literally list things to the T and I'm always adding stuff to the list. So if you wanna see like sneak peeks of things I'm buying, check that out. But I'll pop the links to the swimsuits and stuff in the description box down below because they are amazing. They are so flattering and I've been searching for so long for exact swimsuits that I wanted and believe it or not, they were on Amazon. Like I literally went in every single shop online and in stores couldn't find swimsuits that i wanted but amazon was there for me amazon had my back and i got everything that i wanted they've also got lovely clothes and shoes i'm gonna get my new trainers as well because i think you guys are gonna love them hold on so these are my new trainers these are the white nmds from adidas and it's amazing that you can buy things like this on amazon as well um these are like my new summer trainers i wanted trainers that were easy like i knew were comfortable and nmd like the style has always been comfy i've never had to wear like blister plasters or anything like that they've always just been so comfortable easy to put on um and i think they get really cute like summer dresses and shorts and stuff like that so these are my new ones that i got and i thought i could give them a mention because i had some messages from you guys on youtube and instagram and you were like what were the trainers that you got like tell me i need to know so they're the trainers and i love them and like i said i'll pop links to all of this in the description box down below so the last thing that i wanted to mention is this gorgeous perfume again amazing that you can get it on amazon um it literally came next day of course because amazon prime and it is amazing this is the chloe perfume i'm not sure what it's called but again i'll link it for you guys down below this is such a fresh scent and i'm just obsessed with it like i've been wearing it all the time at the moment and i've never had so many compliments on a perfume before i do think this might be like hit or miss but when you put it on and you know like after you wear it a little bit it kind of turns into like your own kind of scent i feel like this does that and it is so nice so strong and the bottle is amazing this sits on my dressing table 
when I ordered it, I didn't know what it smelled like. I basically ordered it for the look of it, which is very extra, I know. But I wanted it to sit on my dressing table because I was so obsessed with the bottle. And every time I went into like a perfume shop, I was like, oh my God, I just want that. So I'm so happy with this. Um, and I feel like it's perfect for summer and I wanted to give it a mention. This is the 50 mil and it's the cutest thing in the entire world. So I love it and it's really cute for summer. So my lovelies, that was everything that I wanted to show you guys this month for my Amazon favourites. Of course, I could go on and on and on. I'm looking around the room right now thinking, oh, I should have said that, I should have said that. Things that I've really told you guys about, like my homeware and like travel stuff, but I don't want to be too repetitive and I did want to like share some new stuff that I have been loving at the moment. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, it would help me out so much if you gave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel because after these videos, my holiday content will be live for you guys, which I'm so excited for you to see. I can't wait to take you guys along our holiday with us and just have loads of fun. It'll be really good. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you all in my next video. And yeah, everything will be linked down below. Bye. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep Cause I'm not tired I'm thinking about the days we